Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. We debated on waiting for this knife, you know, to, to do a video, but we want to go ahead and, and cover it. Uh, this is one that Courtney picked out. Uh, we picked up from Jed Hornbeek. This will be the first Jed Hornbeek that we officially added to our collection. Mm -hmm. He's holding some back for me uh, so I can fit them into budget. budget. Uh, this is the Hanzaki. Hanzaki. It's in CPM 3V, and you see the price tag of 350 there. Um, Jed Hornbeek. Uh, uh, like uh, you won't be able to tell by this knife, you know, like uh, the, but the fit and finish that he does on. Um, uh, well, I, I'll say that because it's wrapped, but it's wrapped very well, and it's it's, it's very it's, meticulous. It's like yes. wrapping. Yeah, like a very Japanese style. Uh, very, you know, it's a Japanese style blade. It's a Japanese style. Uh, knife and it's, it's a Japanese name, right? Mm -hmm. It's a Jap giant ja giant salamander. Giant salamander. That's what Hanz Hanzaki is. Okay, but you might not be able to tell much from this knife because it doesn't have all that G10 and and uh, different uh, materials. You know that, but like whenever you have a brass uh, guard or bolster, and you got uh, different pieces that are that make They're up seamless. a handle they are completely seamless so like there's like absolutely no you can't you know we'll go over that in the future but we just kind of just want to introduce this knife to the collection we have not used it for anything so there won't be any opinions about that it will be a user uh, now this is paracord and it is a, epoxy dipped it's, it's epoxy or dipped, resin yeah. dipped or something it feels like very good in the hand it won't be coming apart anytime soon this should be a lifetime type of thing you know you see that he burned it and then he's 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 dipped this in epoxy like so so it's, it feels it, it yeah like it feels hard. like a solid it, it is handle there it is hard and this is a more traditional design uh which uh saw a, a couple of people say you know like I like his designs, but um, you know, like, like something more traditional blade style. Yeah, looking for something a little bit more traditional blade style. This is a clip point. I was gonna call it a drop point. It's not. It's 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 nice and straight. It's got some jipping here, uh, and then the uh, you know it does uh, have a, a little grind there. Yeah, yeah. This is hollowed. Very thin behind the edge. It's going to be, I believe it's going to be an excellent slicer. And then it, it does have a compound grind where this is going to be a flat. Uh, so, uh, just to show that off a little bit. Got a nice uh, forward choil that uh, can fit the tip of your finger, you know, for precision cutting and stuff like that. Up underneath this paracord, it's got some brass that has been, uh, it's, it's, it's pinned in. Uh, to the handle, he said it goes down to about right here. Is that right? I, I don't quote me on how far don't down. Don't quote it went. me either. This will not be the last time we talk to Mister uh, Mister Hornbeek. He's a. There was a lot of knives and a yes. lot of details. Yes, you're right. You're right. Uh, and man, he's just got so much nice stuff. He does. Uh, and I'm 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 glad you picked this one out, man. I think it'll be a very good usable knife in the field uh, when we go. Uh, out, yeah, I, I, like I just really don't think you'd have anything to worry about if you got this one on you. Like it's gonna be your only knife. It's been said that Mr. Hornbeek is the best in the business by people who know fixed blades, uh, Choir Boys and Donnie B all day, uh, Joe from JS Blade Works. They 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 know Hornbeek um, and they know Hornbeek's quality. Those guys test more knives than. Real testing. Yeah. Real testing. <laughs> that, that you know, they, they test more than I, I, I hope to ever aspire to test. So, like, I, I definitely put my faith in their opinions, and uh, their opinions seem to be unanimous. Unanimous that Mr. Hornbeek is the best in the business. And it, wouldn't it be just kind of crazy, like the best knife reviewers, the best tabletop knife reviewers, and the best fixed blade maker <laughs> live twelve miles apart? Yeah, it would. Clipping. It's interesting, you know, really. I mean, you know, uh, it's a small <laughs> world. You know, as <laughs> Mr. Jed Hornbeek said, uh, it, it's, it is a very small world. And, uh, and it, like, it's it's crazy, you know, like that we live that close together. There's just a, lot of, there's a whole lot of, there's got to be something in the water. <laughs> Don't you think? I also want to mention the sheaths. He does, he, he does all these himself, too. 
And his leather ones are immaculate. Immaculate. It is all, all, yes. And like whatever handle, just about every one of them I picked up that had a leather sheath, whatever the main color of the handle of the knife was, that's the color of the stitching that was going to be in the leather. He uses exotic skins. He knows every one of them. He's like, that's anaconda. This is, you know, this is that kind of snake. That's that kind of snake. Or or stingray. Or, or sting, yes, yeah, stingray. Yeah, like they're, he, 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 He's very meticulous with with all of the the penman or not penmanship but workmanship attention to detail yeah and like we just noticed this today this this has a skull on it I, he probably buys that in print probably the, the, the yeah comics, but but I didn't even notice it like it just looked red marble to me at first until until Billy pointed it out I was like ah there, there is a skull there <laughs> I didn't notice it either I just noticed it today as well it uses like this utility tech clip uh, on the back you know it's very popular with handguns. It actually does have, you know, like two uh, uh, handguns there as, as a thing. I'm Man, this is like one of them that I can't figure out exactly how to open. And, and like you're talking a, about tip. Sorry, I just interrupted you. Go no, ahead. you're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to get with him to, to get him to teach me how to open that, that tip clip. But go ahead. You're talking about the tip of your finger could go in that finger tool. Like, I can literally wrap my finger around. Like, it's, it's good for me. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's like uh it's it's not just a a tip thing for me. Right. Like I can get in there with it. I think one of the highlights of this knife, uh too, and we're not gonna go over all the specs and stuff, uh, you know, like it is a nine and a half inch overall knife. Um <laughs> we'll we'll tell you what how long the blade is. You got about four and a quarter of cutting edge. And the blade itself will be a, yeah, be right at five inches or four and a half inches if you uh, stop, like that, stop yeah. it at the plunge. Uh, like yeah, so um, four and a half inches on the blade, nine and a half inches overall. Uh, but we'll we'll get into all the fine details later. Yeah. But man, very excited that it was hard to choose which one. God yes, I was. Gonna... <laughs> God yeah, yeah. yes, it was. Uh, and and like the the other Jed Hornbeak video. Uh, you know, like whenever I, I took that knife back to him, uh, Courtney uh, fell in love with this knife, uh, the, and it's called uh, again the Hanzaki. The Hanzaki. He's got a few different ones available. The one that you had before was the Constrictor. The Constrictor, and the Constrictor is definitely going to end up in the collection. Like you know, it it will probably be my ne my be my next knife purchase. You know, like I I don't I don't feel like anything is going to be taking precedent over that. Listen, I, I'm. Jed's not going to give me any money for making any sales for him. I'm just going to tell you straight up. If you like fixed blades, do not sleep on this young man. You know, like, I'm, uh, I, it's hard for me to, to, to say, you know, like how, um, I, I know I, he, he showed me his heat treat procedure. He showed me all of his machines that he does. He's got knives in mid-production that he was showing me. Like this dude is mm -hmm. a one-man operation, operates out of a out of a, out of a garage, and like you can de you definitely tell his passions there. Jed, he uh, he started making knives and pride in his work. Right? Yeah, a little bit about Jed. Uh, you know, like he uh, he worked at a facility with J.B. Stout. J.D. Stout? J.D. Stout? J.D.? I think so. J.D. Stout? Okay, all right. So J.D. Stout does designs for ladder out, um, um, for Boker, and, and other, I mean, there's other Stout designs, absolutely. But J.D. Uh, uh, designed the ladder Alice for Boker. Uh, J.D.'s the one that helped uh, uh, teach uh, Jed how to how to make knives. Uh, like, so uh, they're, they're really good friends, and, and obviously J.D. lives really close by, yeah. too. <laughs> And uh, I'm looking forward to meeting him as well. But man, I am, I am super excited. I mean, like, and it's not about it's not it's not as much about the knives to me as it is about the the camaraderie. I mean, he was just super easy to hang out with, and time flew by. Welcoming. And very right. very polite young man. Very yeah, very welcoming uh, into his home, and and uh, couldn't be more grateful to 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 add a friend. You know. Um, to to the vicinity and uh, 
regardless of that, man, I'm just just saying, you know, his, his knives do range. He's got some really expensive stuff, mm -hmm. but he also has some very affordable stuff. And the really expensive stuff is usually the really big stuff that yeah. is taking a lot more material and a lot more time. Absolutely. I mean, like, you know, like the Scabber Stabber is not a cheap knife, but the Scabber Stabber is not a lightweight knife either. You know, that, that thing is, that, is that taking polished, up. That was one of them polished ones, right? Man, it was hand polished. Yeah, like one of them he has hand polished, and I think, uh, you know, like I would love to have that one. One day, if uh, if it's still there, whenever I, I can uh, uh, afford to to be able to grab that up, but yeah, uh, you know he he definitely does a different level of work than you normally see in in fixed blades. You, you can still tell all the hand right hand and person out personal elements. It, that there's nothing about them, any of them, that same Generic. production knife. No. No, because they're not. No, they're like, not. They're not. And, and I mean, this and may like be one of the all the colors, everything. He like personally picks out. He's very specific. Yeah. About not just a light blue, but this shade yeah, of light yeah. blue. He like, was telling <laughs> us about a specific leather supplier that he has in New York. He was like, I was getting my leather from somebody else, and he said I had to set, send a bunch of leather back because I, you know, I was I'd ordered a specific shade of blue, and they they sent me the uh, a shade of blue, but it wasn't the right shade of blue. And that's not what I wanted, so I had to turn around and send all that back. He says, I found a new supply. I mean, he's very meticulous in his decisions. And and, uh, and it shows on the finished product. It very much does, man. He's not skipping out on anything. And this is probably, just to let you know, this is probably one of his most simplest designs. Yeah. You know, like, it's not the cheapest design that he has. Like, he's got neck knives and stuff like that. But, like, uh, this 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 may be the most affordable nine-and-a-half-inch knife that he, that, that he makes. And... Um, uh, you know, I find him on Instagram. His his email, if you want to communicate with him, is jedhornbeak at gmail dot com. I'll link that below just in case uh, some of you might want to get in touch with him and you don't. Um. Uh, what a, have Instagram or yeah, or you don't make it this far in a video or whatever. But like you know, uh, so like. His, his email will be linked below, and I'll tag his channel. He's also got a YouTube channel. I would urge everybody to go over there and subscribe to him. He doesn't do many videos, he, he admitted, uh, but uh, he's, he's planning on starting back, getting some of his knives on there to show, showcase. Um, I can't wait to get more of his knives on the channel. They, they will be special. Every one of them will be special. Like it, uh, They'll be thought out and... And uh, special purchases, like you know, they, none of them will be just be like ah, oh, fly, fly by, yeah, save just, your pants decision. Right. So, uh, anyway, this our this is our first official Jed Hornbeak custom knife, uh, or I don't know if they're customs mid tech. Uh, I don't know what you call them. Uh, I would now. I'm sure somebody could correct, but I would say they're custom. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess a full custom is like, you know, like taking on somebody else's design for them and only creating one. You know, maybe, you know, like, a, like say, like Scabber Stabber mm -hmm. is like, it's taking on, that. Uh, that's a custom uh, scabber, uh, scab knife, you know. Right. But he's got uh, a few of them for sale, so I don't know if that makes it mid-tech production. Well, I don't know how, you know, I, they're all to different. To me, Every I was going to say, like, you know, like, they're all Got their own hand elements and yeah, from the colors I, and the I sheets. I personally think everything he's doing at this point is custom. I, There's I would not say a so too. production uh, factor. He's not replicating multiples of. No, he, I mean he, he makes he, he makes several of, of, of or he'll he'll have a few of each, of each model. The, yeah, but like they'll all some be of them he's colors. only got one of. And, like like this one right here, for example, you know, he's got one that's black and blue. He's got one that's like uh, green and black. Yeah, yeah. Like he's got different colors in this this knife, you know, that are available. But he's only and, only and he had different one. colors of the constrictor. But like nothing is being pumped through a machine. No, nothing's and, pumped so through like, a machine. So like even mid tech for, mid production to me means they're using a machine that's for the most part. Yeah, doing okay. most of their blade. Well, guys. Just wanted to show it to you, man. We'll we'll have uh we'll use it a little bit. We'll, we'll you know we'll, we'll run it through the paces and, and get back with you on on the, this knife, and uh, hopefully some more Jed Hornbeak knives soon. You know, like uh, I've got plans on buying a couple more this year at least. 
Uh, all right. Hope you enjoy. Find this dude. We will try to link his Instagram and everything in the description of this video. We will catch you on the flip side.